What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to the channel. This morning, Robot Entertainment announced the next addition to the Orcs Must Die franchise, and that is Orcs Must Die Death Trap. Let's take a look at the announcement trailer. So Orcs Must Die Death Trap is live on the Steam store. I will put links to that down in the description below, but let's look through and check it out. Uh, first off, a planned release date of quarter one of 2025. Uh, they have said they want to get it out early in 2025. Now about this game, four player co-op, deeper progression systems, rogue light build options. So this is going to be a rogue light game. Uh, which will be quite different than the previous Orcs Must Die games, but should add a nice bit of variety and diversity. Expanded level variety and vast outdoor fantasy environments. Now, if we look at the maps just right here on uh, this little GIF running on their Steam store page, it looks like the maps will be absolutely tremendously sized, uh, much larger than anything we've seen in any of the Orcs Must Die games. Uh, shy maybe of the uh, war scenarios in OMD3. Spectacular physics and more ridiculous orc deaths. Uh, OMD has always been good about the orc deaths. Orcs have always died in remarkable ways. Uh, I'm excited to see what they have here, particularly the spectacular physics op uh, option there. I've always been a fan of Orcs Must Die 2 because of the level of physics and your level of control of the enemies with those physics. I'm hoping to see more of that in Ors Must Die Death Trap. A visceral third person shooter and melee combat. So there will be ranged and melee heroes. Uh, taking a look down through it, uh, no two runs are the same. This focuses on the rogue light element. Uh, let's see, face intensifying waves of orcs and other hideous beasts with randomized buffs and debuffs that impact your hero, traps, weapons, stats, and the levels themselves. Environmental factors like weather and time of day further influence enemies and your defensive options. As these buffs and debuffs stack, choose to push forward against the growing hordes or return to your castle hub to power up your hero, weapons, and traps before facing a formidable orc general in a brutal boss fight. So there it confirms there will be some boss fights as well. Uh, additionally, once again, this touches on the rogue light element. So there will be a permanent progression element, even though it is going to have rogue like values to it. You will have some permanent progression that you can build on your account as you progress through. And then I think this is the biggest deal right here. Classic Orcs Must Die vibe. Uh, capturing a classic orcs must die feel from omd1 or omd2 will be absolutely awesome both of those are just absolutely incredible games and i am excited to see what this game will deliver so orcs must die death trap coming in quarter one of 2025 from robot entertainment of course uh orcs must die is what started my channel and i will without question be covering this one throughout so thanks a ton for watching, y'all. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Take it easy.